Fall armyworm does not overwinter in Texas, except at the southern tip, but the moths move northward in the spring and summer. Populations can be monitored with pheromone traps if desired. Eggs are laid in clusters of 100 or more on leaves and plant parts. They are white when first laid and transition to black over the three days or so before hatching. All of the larvae hatch at about the same time and then disperse to nearby plants. These larvae have mandibles, but when they're small, they have small mandibles that can only rasp the surface of a leaf. As they grow older, they begin to eat chunks of leaf tissue, and eventually they can do quite a bit of damage. Younger larvae tend to be overall greenish in color, but almost always they have a black head capsule. As they age, they turn more brown in color and can get up to two inches long. The giveaway for fall armyworm is the four dots on the second to last abdominal segment. And their heads are different. Corn earworm also occurs with fall armyworm, but fall armyworm has a prominent inverted Y on the front of the head. The Y on the corn earworm larva is far less prominent.